friends welcome to my youtube channel today we will study about submandibular ganglion it is an important parasympathetic ganglion which gives its secretomotor fibers to the submandibular and sublingual gland as you can see in the figure the yellow color structure denotes the submandibular ganglion which lies on the outer surface of the hyoglossus muscle it is also known as Langley's ganglion. It is parasympathetic ganglion and it's located on the outer surface of hyoglossus muscle above the deep part of submandibular gland. Submandibular gland has a deep part and superficial part and above the deep part there lies the submandibular ganglion and so thus it is the name of it. Topographically it is connected to the trigeminal nerve whereas functionally it is related to the facial nerve through its corda tympani branch. It has three roots, parasympathetic, sympathetic and sensory. In this figure you can see red color structure denotes the submandibular ganglion which give its branches to the submandibular and sublingual gland. Let's go in detail about submandibular ganglion. Red color denotes the parasympathetic nerve supply whereas blue color denotes the sympathetic nerve supply. The preganglionic parasympathetic fibers arise from the superior salivary nucleus which is present in pons. It passes through the facial nerve, corda tympani nerve which is a branch of facial nerve and through lingual nerve which is a branch of trigeminal nerve. It relays in the submandibular ganglion and give its postganglionic branches to the sublingual and submandibular gland. The preganglionic sympathetic fibers arise from the T1 segment of spinal cord, relays in the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion, from where the postganglionic fibers arise, which forms sympathetic plexus around facial artery, and this plexus just passes through the submandibular ganglion and give its branches to the sublingual and submandibular gland. Let's have a look again on it. The preganglionic fibers arise from superior salivary nucleus, passes through the facial nerve, corda tympani and lingual nerve, relays in submandibular ganglion and give its branches. Whereas sympathetic branches arise from T1 segment of spinal cord, relays in the superior cervical sympathetic ganglion, give its postganglionic fibers, forms a plexus around facial artery, passes through the submandibular ganglion and give its branches to the gland. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, share and subscribe.